Hello all traders, today is Friday 18th of October 2024 and we're going to look at the trades that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 if we see low risk opportunities. If we look at the one hour micro chart, we see that the price was going up on Nasdaq and S&P 500 during the global session but it started to go down on Dow Jones during the London session. And by looking at 10 minute macro chart, we see that after New York market opening, the price had a pullback and it started to go down on all the minis. So our plan of action for today is to wait for the price to calm down. And when the price going down and past this level and has a good momentum of downtrend trend, then we're gonna take some sell short positions before it reached the support area. And if it bounces back and buyers come back, we take long positions or if it passed this level of resistance and the buyers come to continue the uptrend, we're gonna take long positions repeatedly. So stay tuned and we're gonna update you with any trades that we're gonna take today. So we're back now and as you see the price went down completely and retesting the previous level of support and the buyers came back on NASDAQ and S&P 500 but on Dow Jones, we see a well-established downtrend. So we're going to take sell short position on Dow Jones and long positions on S&P 500 and NASDAQ. So we enter several positions with setup B and close them with profit. Now the market is sideways. We're going to come back again when we have a deeper pullback. So we waited now and then the price had a good pullback. So we enter again long position on all E-minis with setup C and aggressively manage this for a small profits and the ATM also closed them automatically when it reached the target and trailed the profits. So we're setting more limit orders to have better entry price and then close them with a small profit in the middle of the channel. Again we're waiting for pullback to enter long positions. On NASDAQ and S&P 500, we had position filled. So we just closed them with profit and we're waiting for another pullback again to see if it can be filled. Otherwise we enter manually we entered one position manually on Dow Jones and also our positions on S&P 500 and NASDAQ was filled. We closed the NASDAQ one with profit and we're going to re-enter with better price on Dow Jones and close them in the middle of channel. The buyers are strong so I just had one position on NASDAQ not to miss the trend and we'll and set other positions on the lower part of channel for better entry price. The Dow Jones positions were closed with profit. Now the Nasdaq one, we just close it with profit also. So we're done for today because the price is choppy in this sideways pattern. And as you see on all these signals were copied by copy traders to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts. And you see the performance on this account, which was positive, showing profit factor of 3.36, which is coming from 73% win rate, 77 from the long positions that were taken mainly, and 60% from five sell short positions. And also the average win to loss ratio, which was 1.18. The largest winning trade was 210, and the largest losing trade was $104. So hope this trade taken by the path system for facet scalping is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also weekend.